Hey guys, Sean here from visibledark.ca. Thanks for tuning in. This video is a follow-up uh, with the Pegasus Astro Focus Cube and uh, Pegasus Astro Power Pocket Box Advance. I've had these two units uh, functioning, uh, working with my telescope gear the past year. Thought it was a good time to just do a follow-up on it and uh, see how they're, how they're performing. For those of you that aren't familiar with the Focus Cube or the Power Pocket Box Advance, uh, let me just give you a quick uh, overview of them and uh, then we'll continue on from there. So this is the Power Pocket Box Advance and uh, it's been performing really well. Um, so here's the uh, 12 volt input for it right there. That gives everything power through the box. Uh, these are the two dew heater inputs right here and then you've got four uh, 12 volt output um, power units, uh, power leads, so you can uh, connect your hard, connect them to the hardware to power things like the camera and the uh, focuser and uh, whatever else you have uh, running that needs some power. And then down below is the uh, USB 3 hub and you can connect uh, four devices to that and beside it is the uh, cable that runs to the PC. This is the Focus Cube, and this is version one of the Focus Cube. They have version two now, and um, there is some slight changes to it, but um, if I'm recalling correctly, the motor and so forth is the same, um, and it'll carry the same payload um, in terms of lifting power and whatnot. Let me just get in here and get a little different shot of it. So that's the Focus Cube there. These are the inputs for it. So this one here goes to the computer, and this is the power that runs to the Power Pocket Box Advance, gives it power. And um, it's this is a universal fit, so it can fit onto pretty much any telescope out there on the market. Uh, they supply all the hardware that you need, so you won't have any issues in terms of connecting it. And uh, in my case here on the Esprit 100, I simply mounted the universal plate to the bottom of the focuser and attach the focus cube to the uh, course focus knob. All right, so how have they been performing? Well, they've been performing really well, uh, fabulously, I'll say. Um, I've had zero issues with either of these products and they've been subjected to um, the seasonal changes in weather that we have here in Ontario, Canada. Um, by that, I mean, I don't have a permanent observatory with a roof over and uh, whatnot because my backyard just doesn't allow for it unfortunately um, the the green space that's adjacent to it with the 70 foot trees just make it impossible to put a structure like that into the backyard and actually have it functional for imaging uh, areas of the night sky it just just wouldn't work so my setup right now is a pier that's mounted a sky shed pier that's mounted on the, the patio and um, i cover everything up with a tarp Works great, has worked really well for me for a few years now, but the the Power Pocket Box Advance and the Focus Cube have been out in the environment basically, uh, subjected to the warm, the cold, the you know, high humidity, low humidity, um, all of those things that go along with seasonal changes from um, you know, spring, summer, fall and winter. These uh, units have held up really well and um, I'm really impressed with them. I actually uh, would highly recommend that if you're looking for a motorized focuser for your telescope to check out the Focus Cube. Um, they've got the version 2 now and uh, the Power Pocket Box Advance is a really great performer as well. Um, it works really well for allowing USB inputs and power outputs um, just to take care of everything that you need with regards to the gear setup. So check them out. I've got links below that you can click on and get more info on these products. And I'm sure you'll find them to be as good as I found them to be. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Uh, would appreciate that. It helps the channel grow. And uh, we'll see you next time in another video. Take care, everyone. Clear skies.